Hey folks, Mike Dawkins from Worldcast Anglers here with your Jackson Hole Weekend Fly Fishing Forecast for the weekend of May 14th and 15th. We're coming to you from the WCA Fly Shop. It's pretty cold and miserable and crappy outside, so pardon me for being inside for the fishing report. I usually like getting around to some other spots and showing you what's going on, you know, at the time in the greater Jackson Hole and Teton Valley area, but I don't think anybody would really want to be outside today. We're seeing some snow rain mix outside north of us, like in the Henry's Fork. They're starting to have some hail and sort of snow lightning that's all trickling over to the Jackson Hole area. So it's a good day to be inside, which is a rare one here in Teton Valley in Jackson Hole. So looking forward into your fishing opportunities for this coming weekend. It's still been really cold. It's still been abnormally cold uh, for that matter. We're still seeing a lot of snow. Uh, and things along those lines. Not a lot of rain, so it's a little bit of a normal um, spring, Rocky Mountain spring weather, but we like to normally see some rain and some other, you know, more uh, warmer temperatures this time of year. Yesterday was 14 degrees colder than it normally is uh, on record, so it's been abnormally cold, which is delaying our hatches, it's been delaying our runoff, and delaying our fishing conditions, you know, more and more and more than what we would normally see this time of year. Right now, Jackson Lake's 22% of capacity. Palisades Reservoir is 44% of capacity. Our snow pack, our snow water equivalency, as of today in the Upper Snake River Basin, is 97% of average. Henry's Fork Basin is 86% of average. So what does that correlate to? We've been seeing our snow pack grow, but at this time of year, normally when comparisons are being made our snowpack would be dissolving so our comparisons are being made on a wider scale and you know while it's good that we're getting all of this precipitation and i'm not going to say it doesn't matter because every little bit helps it's not like 97 percent of our snowpack and our snow water equivalency at the time when our snowpack was at its greatest so you have to take these measurements with a grain of salt but every little bit helps in, in our moisture in our moisture management coming into this summer for our rivers, streams, reservoirs, lakes, and everything like that. Saturday looks like a typical Rocky Mountain spring day. Rainy, highs in the mid-50s, overcast, cloudy, not super windy as we're supposed to have you know, here towards the end of the week, but not a super pleasant day out there. Probably a good day for throwing streamers if you can find some less windy uh, or leeward areas you may find some fish eating betas and some other midges and small dries and things like that Sunday looks glorious mid 60s and sunny Monday of next week looks really good too highs in the high 60s and uh, lots of sun so I think that's going to really kick start our runoff we've seen it subdued these past two weeks but areas like the Teton areas like the Snake and Jackson which have been ebbing on blowing out you know they get a little bit high they get a little bit off color and then we get some days you know some evenings where it's been super cold and that snowpack has been refreezing when we start to see those nighttime temperatures hover in the the high 30s low 40s and our daytime temperatures start to hit those mid 60s and 70s look out get ready for a lot of things to blow out to get high money uh, muddy and unstable the henry's fork 241 CFS up there at the box, 1,250 CFS there on the lower river. Naturally, this time of year, the Henry's Fork has been our, our go-to dry fly fishery. It's, we're seeing some great Mother's Day caddis hatches. We're seeing some great betas, especially on these calm, cloudy, overcast days. Midges, not so many salmon flies. I can't really say we've heard reports of any, maybe a rogue one here and there, but Normally we would start to see some of them, and I think we're on that two to four week window behind. So this warm weather coming up at the end of this weekend, beginning of next week, may be just what we need to get those things to pop. Um, so anything in that Henry's Fork area, especially the lower river, has been fishing really well. Small black caddis, peacock caddis, spring fling caddis, you know, those small black cutters caddis. I love those patterns this time of year paired with a purple parachute, some of your betas imitations and things like that have been really productive. The Teton here in the valley, 199 CFS, um, 640 CFS there on the lower river uh, above Rexburg. Naturally, as I was saying, we've seen some really good windows on the Teton this spring season, especially up here in the valley and on the lower river, you know, the old dam site 
and some of those areas have been fishing really well with caddis, midges, attractors, some light dry dropper setups, and streamer fishing with buggers, JJ specials, clouser minnows, and things like that. But I would forecast as things get warm and we get some of this rain that that system is going to get pretty high and off color, muddy and unstable, super cold. So definitely if you're going to hit it, look to hit it at the beginning of the weekend before things get really warm with those patterns and those bugs that I was suggesting. And you may find, you know, some good fishing opportunities around there. The South Fork of the Snake, 7,390 CFS coming out of Palisades Dam, 8,640 8, CFS there on the lower river. Subsequently, we've seen discharges as irrigation demand starts to climb, come out of Palisades Dam, and we've seen some of the water quality diminish. We've got Pine Creek, which is sort of spewing in some glacial sort of green crap. We're seeing, you know, the discharge out of Palisades Dam start to bring out, you know, some moss and some stuff like that. It's on that glacial green ish tent right now so it's not necessarily dirty but it doesn't look super fabulous fish are still being caught on nymphs not really any dry fly fishing to to really say anything about into the streamer fishing has been real spotty and i think that's all because of the colder water temps we'll see what happens when we get these warmer days and our ambient air temperature gets warmer maybe we'll get some warmer water temperatures but the south fork has been a subsurface game and we're going to start to see a lot of the tributaries run off in there uh, here and there the snake 1640 cfs being discharged from jackson lake dam 4920 cfs there on the lower river same as the teton we haven't really seen the snake get that muddy and that high but it, it we are right on the way so if you're going to fish it and Take advantage of the pre-runoff fishing on the snake right outside of Jackson, which is some of the best fishing I think that you can have on the snake outside of the fall season. Do it now. Do it before it gets really warm. You know, maybe Sunday will be right there, you know, to catch the beginning of the wave. Look for squalas here and there. Small foam, you know, imitations, small Chernobyl ants and olives and blacks in those 10s and 12s. Pair those with a dropper, probably a pretty deep dropper, um, and you'd be pleasantly surprised. You know, the, the foam fishing, as I was saying last week, isn't one of those like really, you know, twitch them off the bank, stick them in there, keep them in here and there. It's really keep them in the water, keeping them in those recirculating eddies, giving those fish those opportunities to really, you know, get up there and see those fish, uh, see those bugs, and get their mouth sort of around them. Uh, caddis, Bluing olives and some other things have definitely been productive as well over there on the snake and the early season streamer fishing with, you know, big buggers, um, you know, JJ specials, Crelexes, things along those lines have been really, really productive as well pre-runoff. So when you start to see some of these water levels climb and we start to see the clarity diminish on our rivers, think of these couple things to sort of um, have those feathers, you know, in your cap. Use larger patterns that, that produce a profile that the fish can see easier and use darker patterns, blacks, purples, and browns. Those are going to provide the best contrast in off-color water conditions for fish to find them, you know, before things just go lights out, total chocolate milk. So that's what we've got coming for this weekend uh, with our Jacksonville Weekend Fly Fishing Forecast. The WCA Fly Shop is open all weekend, Saturday, 8 until for Sunday 8 until noon. So stop in, get whatever you need if you're heading towards uh, the Henry's Fork or anything like that. We'd love